Nemo is a smart man, coming up with the idea to destroy Earth by dropping the moon on it. Too bad we won't be able to reuse Earth, but at least we'll be rid of him, too. When you think about it, this wasn't a bad deal after all. You guys are planning to get out of here after being toyed with by a human? Was that also part of the Supreme Conference's plan? That's correct. This is all because you demons have neglected to keep those other kinds of demons in line. Like the aliens have already prepared to make their escape. Unfortunately, that probably means it's already too late to stop the moon from falling. I beg you. My lord, please! As a representative of all the creatures of Earth, I plead to you, aliens. Please pray to God and the angels even if it's just for now, to stop the moon from falling. Aliens' prayers. We should be able to collect as much awe energy as there are stars in the universe. Please! My lord. Mr. Vampire. You're a demon, aren't you? Why would you go this far for the humans? Do you really want to protect Earth that much? Is it because you need the fear energy that's emitted from the humans? We've heard that fear energy is like the life source for you demons, right? Okay, if you're that desperate, we can search for new life forms that you can collect fear energy from. What? Is that even possible? Then we're safe! Hey, guys, what about the people on Earth? Don't worry, you're already kind of like a demon, so you should be safe, too. Huh? Oh, yeah? Okay, then. We've watched over the humans for a long time now. So we're aware that the Netherworld is being controlled by the humans, too. There's no longer any need for you to protect those humans who have tormented you for all these years. Now stop obsessing over them already and consider bringing order to a brand new planet. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? If you demons promise to become subordinate to the Pangalactic Alliance, I wouldn't mind negotiating for you at the Supreme Conference. You've seen the humans. That's something I've never thought of. Sounds rather fascinating, doesn't it, Fenrir? Lord Velvatoris. However, I'm going to have to decline. Why? I don't understand. There isn't a single valid reason for you to decline that offer. Because I made a promise. A promise? It wasn't just a verbal promise. It was a promise that was made within our hearts. Within the Netherworld there lies Hades. Within Hades there are a lot of lost prennies who need my guidance. On Earth, there is a memory. A valuable memory that taught me the importance of promises. Mr. Vampire. And on the moon, I made an allegiance, an allegiance to my friend, which will never be broken, no matter what! Lord Val. Throwing that away to save my life is not something I desire, and that is my final answer! And it's a foolish one at that. You've been brainwashed by pointless human notions and have chosen extinction. Demons are lonely creatures after all. This is fine. I hope Earth, the Netherworld, and Celestia all get demolished. Now pray, aliens! 
Gods damn it! With all you've got! Pray to God and the angels! Y yes, sir. You wouldn't have gotten hurt if you had just done this while I was being nice, fools. How dare you make my lord kneel before you! You alien imbeciles! Pray as if your lives depend on it, because one way or the other they do! Can we collect our energy by forcing them to pray? Still gets it? That's awful! I see. If threatening them won't work, then we have no choice but to do it ourselves. Please don't be rash, my lord. Hey, Lass! Why don't you pray? You're closer to being human than any of us. I am a human, and I've been praying my shouldn't have relied on this idiot to get the job done. Desco, what about you? Show them what you've got as a final boss. Desco really doesn't want to, but... How can she refuse after seeing Mr. Valzi? Okay, fine. Pretty please, Great Flonzor X. Please return the moon to where it was. <laughs> Next, well, go! Can't believe I'm about to do this. This is only to save the Netherworld. I'm counting on you, Great Flonzer X! Mr. Werewolf. I've got this. No problem. I'll show them the prayer of a proud and noble demon! Wait, my lord, please. If you're willing, then... Then... I will pray instead. Ah. And I'm counting on you, Fenric. Show me what you got! Hey! You damn piece of crap, Angel Robot! You better get this done! If you fail, I'll smite you to the ground! Um... You're supposed to be praying, remember? That is my way of praying! Is there a problem with that? Of course there is, Flea Brain! Do you really want this to succeed? I know it's degrading, but this isn't the time to joke around, you know? The moon is a special and important place for you, right, Mr. Fen, Fen? You're not gonna save it like that! I know that, but... What? What's going on now? Did our prayers from the netherworld reach you? Heck 
Olympics. That's right, it's me, the 62nd president of the Netherworld. You can skip the explanations, I know all about it. Axel, the dark hero, is the only one who can save the world from this crisis. The demons of the Netherworld are completely in love with me, following my presidential inauguration celebration show. I've asked my fans to temporarily convert their admiration for me into prayers to God. Hm. Not bad for Axel. <laughs> It was actually the Information Bureau that did that. Father! Emisa, I've been watching you from the Netherworld. You've gotten so strong. I'm proud of you, son. Father? Well, I'm supposed to be strong because I'm your son! How's everything going here, Fuka and Desko? Oh, my wonderful daughters. Dad? Are you the source of this new wave, Daddy? Nope, I'm not. This is the awe energy from Earth. What? But I thought the humans had already lost faith in us. Oh, they definitely did. However, things have taken a turn for the better. And it's all thanks to you guys up here. I've been broadcasting your battles from beyond the Earth on every TV channel. Without the Torres, many humans were moved by your actions. There's no scientific proof of this, but I think I know why you are so strong. Hmm. It's not all because of me. It's thanks to my friends here. And also sardines. By the way, Fuka, you still seem to think this is a dream. <laughs> but you really did die, you know. Ugh, shut up, old man. <laughs> well, good luck. Cool. Do we have enough awe energy now? Yes, Lord Val. We make the final call. This is a deal. But the only person I have faith in is Lord Valvatoris, and no one else. That's good enough. Believe in your faith towards me and pray that our allegiance will last forever. That is your prayer. My allegiance to Lord Val. going to dedicate your life to me? I just saved your life. Why would you want to do that? My efforts to save you will only be made worthwhile if you use your life to fulfill your own desires. And that is why I'd like to dedicate the rest of my life to you. That is my desire. You're serious, huh? Just so you know, it's not going to be an easy path to follow. Whatever you wish to do will be my command. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I make this vow to the moon, which is the source of all werewolves' power. Excellent. I will engrave that vow in my heart as well. You shall serve me as long as the moon shines, Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. This man is the master I have been searching for. This man is the hero who will one day rule the world. Understood, Lord Val. I will pray for you to great Flonzo X. Of you, my servant. 
All is for my lord. She only came here to make things more difficult. Right. This isn't mine or Great Flondorex's work. This was all thanks to the love we received from all around the world. <gasps> Desco gets it. Desco has awakened to love. Did Desco get a new skill? <laughs> Preaching about love to demons, huh? This archangel is rather interesting. Uh, I, I don't care for this love talk, but basically, the moon, earth, and netherworld were all saved, right? Yep, we saved them all! We did it! So, it's pretty much decided that I'm the ruler of the human world now, right? Right? And that was how Tyrant Valvatoris and his allies successfully stopped the moon from falling. Their accomplishment was reported to all 20 billion planets of the Pan-Galactic Alliance. And before long, they were declared the most wanted criminals in the entire universe. But that's a story for another day. It's too soon to celebrate. Nemo! I don't know what you guys did to put the moon back into its orbit, but I'm just gonna keep doing it over and over and... What the hell's his problem? Just wait and fall into despair! 
just don't forget the name of this fish. Bathyphrion denai, Xenodermictus nodulosus. Because it just sounds cool. Your commitment and devotion to sardines is quite admirable.